I'm doing a little project on my Rose engine today. I've been I've been cleaning up the shop and I run across uh, this uh, rocking tailstock that I had started on on a Rose engine. If you have a tailstock against the piece, the the tailstock has to rock with the spindle, so it adds a little bit of trickiness to everything. Um, I milled out. I milled out this piece on the CNC at work. Um, this hole here will be uh, reamed part way through and tapped part way through, and the the tailstock spindle will go through there and just have a little bit of travel. Uh, it won't have a live center or nothing. I don't I don't think I need that. And then there will be down here there will be a T milled into this. And the T will slide in this slot, and I'll have a, a nut underneath that I can move it where I want it, tighten it down, and then use it. The rest of these holes are just going to be for decoration. I'm going to probably drill this one out so it looks a little bit nicer. And then I'll clean it up and uh, make everything pretty. I left this chunk of metal on here so that I could hold on to this and finish up these holes. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to clean my mill off at some point today. These holes were drilled on the CNC mill, so they're pretty accurate. Um, I've uh, put a coaxial indicator in here to line this up. And if I spin the spindle, it's pretty close. It's within a half a thousandth or so. It's pretty close for what I'm doing. Um, I wanted this hole to be close because... Um, it's going to hold the spindle for the tailstock. I'll uh, set up and we'll ream them and drill them next. After I reamed this hole, I put in a bigger drill bit and I drilled this one out. This is just for looks. I think it'll look better with the hole sizes being offset like that. This uh, slot I milled in here, it was just for future reference. That's going to be the very bottom of my tailstock. I uh, got it clamped in my I'm using this flat spot on here to indicate this in. I'll run it across there. And it stays pretty close. We're going to call that good. I got the end of it all milled how I want it. I'm going to drill and tap a hole right here for uh, the hole down for it. This uh, setup was a little sketchy. It, I should have probably used a uh, angle plate to hold this, but I ended up getting by with it. Here's the finished tailstock. The the hole going through here is reamed for like two thirds of it, and then the rest of it's threaded, and they're both half inch. So the, the spindle is just straight. I uh, found a handle off of an old uh, water faucet to uh, use for the end of it. And I tapped it almost all the way through. The hole doesn't get tapped all the way through so you can, so when you tighten it, it tightens up here and here. Um, it's pretty much done. I think I'm going to drill and tap a, a hole in the top for a little thumb screw to snug everything up when it's all done but the I got a tailstock that rocks with my headstock now it slides back and forth 
and lines up pretty good. Alright, everybody have a great day.